Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 23rd, 2021. Well, my goodness, we had um, kind of a mixed bag yesterday with the Dow squeaking out a, um, a um, positive positive print yesterday and the SPY and the NASDAQ raising some concerns. This morning, we have a bit of a mixed bag this morning as the futures have fluctuated dramatically overnight between bullish and bearish on this open. And um, we have a Jerome Powell testimony today that seems to have the market a little bit on edge. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in and let's take a look at the technicals here and see how we might want to approach the market this morning on the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have had um, an interesting fluctuation in futures overnight that um, raises a little bit of concern um, in the market. And certainly that selling yesterday in the SPY and QQQ raised a little concern. Now we saw yesterday almost as if it was an attempt by the market to, to prove that, hey, everything is gonna be okay. Um, we had a pretty substantial rally in the Dow after a gap down open. So we kind of surged back here and we tested that support in the chart here on the diamonds and push back. But then at the end of the day, we saw a fairly significant sell-off heading into the close. Take a look at that. Pretty significant sell-off heading into the close. And we managed to squeak out a high, an, uh, a, um, a, a good solid print yesterday um, in the Dow while everything else was kind of selling off into the close, raising a little bit of a question. So, what does that mean for today? Well, let's keep a close eye on this. Right now, what we have to admit is that the Dow um, held this price support and is trying to show some bullishness here. Now, this morning we have fluctuated in futures quite a bit. Futures were down overnight. Well, they were up first and then they were down overnight. And as a matter of fact, when I got up at 5 a.m. this morning, they were down about 80 points. And now in the pre-market pump up, we're trying to rally this this morning. And you can see right here's our pre-market candle. So we're trying to come back at least to even um, in the market this morning. So be prepared for a little bit of choppiness this morning and don't be too surprised. Um, we have seen a lot of this pre-market pump lately get sold into just directly after the open. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, now SPY raises a bit more of a concern as you can see. Depending on how you draw this trend, right here is how I'm drawing this trend, right up through this area where I get lots of contact to that trend line. Yesterday we kind of slipped through that trend and created a bit of a concern. And if we draw a, a line across here, you can also see that we kind of um, struggled a bit here with that little price support in the chart failing by the end of the day. However, that said, there's a little bit stronger price support right in here that we have held on the SPY. So now the question becomes, will we recover from here? Will those bulls step in and defend this area? Or are we going to see those bears continue to remain just a little bit on the feisty side here, pushing us down through that area? So watch that closely. If we get those bulls to step in here and defend and get us right back up into this area, I don't know that we will have any major technical damage yet. However, if we cannot push back through and prove to hold a higher level of support after breaking it, we do have a bit of a problem. Notice that we do have a lower high possible trend here. So that rally up into here is going to be critical whether or not we can push on through and then prove to hold that higher low. Certainly doable, certainly possible. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, the question I think is going to be what's going to happen with the NASDAQ? The NASDAQ certainly has shown a little bit of stress and some bearishness here. And you can see breaking down this trend 
And not only did we break down trend, we sufficiently lost price support in that area. And we came all the way down into here. And you can see, whoops, you can see testing some support down in this area of the chart. Now we could still move a little bit lower and you notice there's a bit of a price support right through here in that price and we came really close to testing that yesterday. So we'll want to keep an eye on that and the question now starts to come in even if we do rally back, even if those bulls come into play and, and try to recover this, we have kind of a double level of resistance here that is now formed in the chart. So if those bulls come back in, we're gonna to wanna to watch that pretty closely and that potential that we could engage a downtrend right in this area. So just a little bit of concern. And I will mention that uh, once again, that possibility if that were to form up like that, we could actually be building that head and shoulders top pattern um, in the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. We need those bulls to not only recover, but get us back up here and hold us at, at a higher level of support. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be an interesting day today. Then if we take a look at IWM. Now IWM was pushing positive today, or yesterday. Tried real hard to push positive. And then we saw a little bit a slip at the end of the day. If I go to a 15 minute chart, you can see we were pushing up there and then that selling came in at right at the end of the day into the close, leaving behind this little shooting star type pattern and a possible lower high. Now, as you can see, we've got a little follow through here on IWM this morning. Now, um, oil sector or the energy sector and the financial sector did a pretty good job yesterday of holding holding up however if we are going to get some follow through to the downside on that watch those oil and energy or that energy sector and financial sector if it begins to slip that could be a little bit of a problem here for IWM. Now, I don't know that it, this is critical just yet because we're going to be um, still above this level of price support, but just notice we still have a significant decline possible before uh, triggering uh, that price support. So if this follow through does um, happen, it, that's the pre-market candle by the way, if that does happen and we break this low, we could see a little bit of pressure come in on um, that IWM sector. So watch that carefully and watch those financials and oil sectors pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday, kind of an interesting situation. We gapped up yesterday morning and pulled back. And we were putting in a pretty big dark candle until that last of day sell-off starting to come in. Notice we're up here um, above 23 handles, still raising that bit of concern here in the market. And if we look at a 15 minute uh, chart, you can see just how dramatically that last part of the day sell-off came into play. Looking at the uh, daily chart here, you can see we closed right around that 50-day moving average on the VIX. So it's going to be pretty critical today. What's going to happen? Are those bulls going to come in and support or are those bears going to remain uh, feisty here and fight back for a and they haven't fought back much for a long, long time. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 um, continues to raise a little concern for me. Although we did have some selling yesterday, notice we barely got a move in um, the T2122. And that's largely because the Dow was trying to rally so strongly yesterday. So we barely had a little bit of a pullback in T2122, which means overall we're still up here in that relatively high um, bearish re um, reversal zone clear up in this area. So we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. If those bears were to come in and start pushing down and we start breaking some supports, if the SPY and the Qs start breaking some supports, that could really start to bring in a little bit of fear in the market. So watch that carefully. Right now we're in pretty good shape, but just notice we still have quite a bit of downside where we can move here in that T2122. Now that said, if we can get some bullish energy, we have a little upside that can still happen in the market. So 
just stay on your toes and watch pretty carefully, there is that little bit of concern that is really starting to come into the market. So careful, careful, careful. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to one thing really in particular, and that is going to be the Jerome Powell um, testimony today. Um, 10 a.m. That seems to have the market a little bit on edge today. Um, and I don't know why, because he's been, uh, you know, the most accommodative uh, Fed chair that I think we have ever seen, um, um, setting records in federal debt um, uh, on the balance sheet. But there is a little, seems to be a little bit of angst about that this morning. So we're going to want to watch that pretty carefully as he begins his testimony today at 10 a.m. Eastern. Before that, we do have the Case-Shiller number. Um, I'm not sure that that's going to move the market much, but you always want to pay attention when one of those numbers come out today. And keep in mind, we've got Powell speaking tomorrow as well. So a little, little bit of back and forth going on here around that um, testimony. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have quite a few companies reporting today. And once again, whoops, once again, I want to remind everyone that if you want to see the full list list of notables, you might want to click that link that's just below the title of the video, drop on over to the blog, and you can get that full list of notables this morning. Um, let's take a look at a few of these. And re remember, these notables are just something that I pulled out that I thought had some credibility for today, something we want to pay attention to. Now, the first one I want to uh, mention is Home Depot. Now, Home Depot has already reported early this morning. And um, right here is where Home Depot is expected to open this morning. So we're, we had a blowout earnings report. In fact, they saw an increase by 25% of um, sales, but we're not exactly getting that warm and fuzzy. This is the pre-market candle. So we're actually suggesting a gap down this morning after that strong earnings report here in Home Depot. And notice that we've been in a little bit of a decline here overall in the pattern, albeit we had this rally going on heading into the earnings report. So watch that carefully today. That could be an interesting telltale sign for us as we continue to struggle here in Home Depot. Um, take a look at um, COG. COG, Cabot Oil reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We're going to see um, CLVS will be reporting today. We're going to hear from APLE that'll be reporting today. We've had quite a rally here in this. This is a real estate trust, quite a rally in that recently. We'll want to watch for that earnings report. Uh, BMO is on the list today. Keep an eye on that. Toll Brothers is on the list today. And Toll, we're starting to have that little bit of concern about the housing market. So keep an eye on that. Toll Brothers may be making a lower high here on that chart. Um, creating a little bit of worry and concern here um, in that sector. Um, INTU, Intuit will be reporting today. This afternoon, we'll want to keep an eye out for that. We're also going to hear from Macy's today, uh, Jazz Pharmaceuticals today. We will hear from SQ. Now, SQ um, has been in a major upside rally. So this could be an important report today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And last but not least, um, Upwork will be reporting today. So keep an eye on these reports as they roll out. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the t today, but before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And you know, the purpose of these videos is not to add to the hype or the drama that um, we see every place um, on the market. It's really to look at those technicals and try and decide how, um, we might want to approach the market for today without all of that 
um, a nervous energy that we see around the market in the morning. So if you find this helpful, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that uh, bell icon and uh, excuse me, not the bell icon, the thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps a ton in continuing to grow the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone for that. And by the way, um, if you look r right underneath the title, you're going to see another link for buy me a coffee. And that's a new way if you're not a member of, of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and you would like to help support the channel and this kind of content, please uh, feel free to do that. And, and just just know that there's no obligation to do so, but I truly appreciate it and all of those funds will be used to enhance the channel with new equipment and things like that. So if you want to support the channel that way, thank you very much. And I just want to say a big shout out to all of those who have uh, done that so far. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and remember that when I post these stocks that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and you must must uh, pay close attention to your personal risk tolerance. Now yesterday um, I have a little bit of bias on this. I did pick up a position in Ford and it looks like Ford is going to be pulling back a little bit today. We had it, it shot up nicely yesterday. We saw it get tied up in that pullback at the end of the day. Um, but I picked up um, a position here in Ford and I'll be watching this carefully. Um, but Ford um, has that opportunity. Now it could still consolidate for a considerable period of time. Notice where trend is. And this could consolidate considerably out here for that trend. And I've planned this for a long-term position. So I'm gonna be okay with it but watch that pretty closely if uh, Ford starts to move and take off to the upside. You're, I think you're gonna wanna take a look at Disney. Now Disney, I've mentioned this a couple of times in the morning prep video, and we saw this sell-off came into play, but boy, yesterday it came back hard and strong. Um, really big move in Disney. Now after such a big move, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this catch a little bit of rest. Just take a breath here for just a little bit and rest out here um, but what we want to do is maybe watch that trend and if we can engage that trend out in here we could see uh, Disney taking off to the upside so keep an eye on that it had a great performance yesterday um, we might want to take a look at snap now snap has been struggling here just a little bit you can see it popped my alert I I'm actually not in this trade but popped my alert and then has pulled back to retest support again keep an eye on that um, notice that we've got a little bit of buying coming in there at the end of the day, bit of a hammer pattern, which um, is kind of surprising considering um, the way the market sold off into the close. But if that can hold in here, then we may have that opportunity that those bulls will step up and defend this area and push this back up on snap. So keep a close eye on that. Now we were talking about silver yesterday morning and I got to tell you guys, um, silver had a really good day. It is pulling back a little bit this morning, but keep a close eye on silver. I think there may be something going on here and I want to keep an eye on this. Um, I own a position in this, so I do have a little bit of a bias, but um, what I was watching is this nice little tight consolidation in here um, that we popped out and continued, continued to show a little bit of support. So silver's probably not one of those that's just going to rip to the upside. I expect a little bit more rest or consolidation in here, but um, I think there may be some potential here, particularly um, with the whole idea of all these electric vehicles and the massive infrastructure build out. We don't have near enough silver in supply to handle all the industrial uses um, if we're going to go um, that route. So just kind of keep an, keep an eye on that. Silver's looking pretty decent at the moment. Um, also, I think we need to keep an eye on these retailers. Um, um, GPS, GPS, really nice rally last couple days days. I would expect a rest or pullback in here, but boy, these little retailers have done quite well here the last uh, few days. GPS, um, and one you might want to pay attention to this morning because of the earnings report is Macy's. It may catch up here today um, 
on this earnings report if it's good and try to push on through. But we've seen good moves in Kohl's and Abercrombie and American Eagle and a lot of those um, little retailers really starting to pick up. So keep an eye on those stocks. They may be um, something to watch carefully today. Um, also, if you would take a look at um, RIG. Now, RIG continues to consolidate here. and We continue to work around this resistance level in the chart. If oil sector is going to remain strong, and for the moment it sure looks like that oil sector wants to remain strong, prices have been rising pretty dramatically, we could start seeing um, these drillers improve a little bit. So watch this carefully. If that pushes through that resistance, could be an opportunity coming there in rig. And then I want to point out um, another stock that I happen to own. I own Oracle and Oracle had a wow, big popping move yesterday. A little volatility in the pre-market here this morning on it. But I really like this chart and I'll tell you honestly, I purchased this as a longer term hold using a weekly chart. I'm in on this candle. So I'm looking pretty good on this trade right now. Keep an eye on Oracle if you like those longer term holds. I'm going to start mentioning some of those because that's really, um, I do hold some longer term positions and um, that's really starting to show some good signs here in the chart. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. And again, if this is the first time you've seen the videos, make sure you can click that subscribe button. Other than that, I want to um, say thank you for watching the video and I will see you bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.